Right. Back at it again. On Act 2. Oh, duh. Continue. Sorry, I feel like the load time is always forever and ever. Okay. Okay, so last time I was trying to play, I was trying to find this third part of his father's testament. Oh my god, I gotta get away from her. She is super loud. Um, on the third part of the Father's Testament, and then I looked everywhere around Pembroke Hospital and could not find it for shit. So I'm just, I cheated <laughs> and had to look up where exactly the last testament is, anyways, which is supposed to be on the left side of the hospital somewhere over here if it lets me god damn it you let me place my marker whatever I'm just gonna go to the hospital look for it are you dead get it with murder murder some people along the way Okay. Ah. Let's sneak up on you. I don't trust your ass. Ah, oh, there's three of them. Oof. Oh, what the? No, what? Where did you come from? Oh. You sh shouldn't have... Damn it. Snuck up on me. Ooh. I get his blood. Oh shit. Oh, that was not fun. Was not expecting all that. All right, to the hospital. I right, got this guy. Fuck it, just go after him. Where are we at? Shit, this place. I'm crawling with you guys. No! I don't want to be saved! Oh, god damn it. There we go. 
That wasn't too hard. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Yeah, it's too late. He sees me. This is no place for you. Elite! Oh my god. And these guys are getting harder to take down. Well, I mean, obviously I guess that makes sense. The more you level up, the more everything else around you does. I just can't easily just stroll on in. Am I going the right way? Where the hell am I going? Oh. This big dude right here. Let's see if I can just... No, no, no. He is huge! Look at them hands! Oh, I can take him. Now see, that was nothing. I was able to take the... the mountain... the vampire mountain man. Whatever he is. Holy crap, look at all that blood. Right, is that blood? That is. He's just stepping in the puddle. Just had to make sure it was blood, I guess. That is a lot of blood. Surprise! Oh. I just killed him with one bite! That was great. Uh, that's how it should be. Oh, it's a person. I'm just lying in the blood. He was just stepping on a person. How nice is that? All right, almost there. This dude is being rude as fuck, just knocking on people's doors as if just rude. You're mine! Oh, how did he see me? I'll put it into you. Oh God, not the gas, not the gas. Oh. Okay. Almost there. Almost to the hospital. And... I'll just go around this way. Should I go this way? Yeah, I can go this way. Too many sick people are here. Oh, none. No one's sick. Amazing. All right. All right. It said it was supposed to be on the left side of the hospital, behind. Some curtains. I don't know if they mean these little hospital ones or the little I will not let you down, my boy. On the left side behind some curtains. Well, there's no curtains over here. Fuck. Maybe it's more back here.
I really mean this side. Wait a minute, I was just over here. God damn it. I don't see. Maybe. Maybe in here. As for me. What a blundering idiot. I'll see. Now this is locked. Can't even go in there. I don't want to just punch that dude in the face. If you didn't have kids, I'd totally drain you of every ounce of blood. Okay. I still can't find this fucking thing. Gah! Well... Tell me I came all the way over here not to find it! Resignation and more determination. I know I can count on you. I wish I could say the same for the others. You look exhausted. Oh, I can spy. <gasps> how do I do that? Shit, how do I do that again? Oh, it's over there. There we go. Can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. What? So that's not her son? So Mortimer is not infected with the Spanish flu and he intended to take his own life. Oh, hence, hence the slasher. Interesting. Well, let's investigate that then. What? Let's get some more information on this. He tried to take his own life. Maybe we can figure out why. Good oh. evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Uh. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Hmm. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Okay. Admitted, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes. It's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you, then. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... 
after my death. But I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. All right. Okay. Let's go find this letter. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to Since I can't find my father's letter, I might as well find this dude's suicide letter. Hold on. Let me... There it is. I am going the wrong way. I sworn there was an exit this way. Oh, it's over here. Ah. You know what? I could probably go through this hospital. That doesn't open. Do you open? You don't open. I feel like I have to do this every time. Make sure no doors open. Do I have the key for this now? That's sweet. Damn it. Oh, they're all low in health. Oh, God. Get off me, you piece of fucking. Ah! There we go. I clean up the streets. Why does this open? Nope. So I finally found the key to this. God damn it, go up there. There we go. It's just a refill box. Oh, here it is. My dear mother, when you find this letter, I'll be gone. I want you to know that I don't leave because of you. I leave this world because of the crushing weight that existence puts upon me. These times are too much for me. Sometimes I feel like Baudelaire's verses have been written as an echo from my own heart. When the low, heavy sky weighs like a lid upon the spirit aching for the light, and all the wide horizon's line is hid by a black day sadder than any night. It's as beautiful as it is painful, Mother. I can't suffer it any more. I don't want you to try to convince me, and it would only delay the inevitable. For I would do it again if by any chance you managed to save me once. Farewell, your son, Mortimer. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire to die. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. Mm. Well, I gotta choose to give it back to him or to his mom. He does say he tried again. It's locked. Fertile is the belly of the beast. Vampires create their foul progeny with blood. We all know that. Some of us witness the process even, but what is really going on there? Is it the only way for a vampire to breed? Let's review what we know so far. Ugh, I don't want to read all this. In short, no. Oh, 
Oh, within sexual intercourse between vampire and human rarely produce any birth. All right, yeah. But some of them tried anyway. If she is mortal, she will not survive the birth. The vampire comes out of her womb by tearing ooh, by tearing apart her entrails. If the mother is a blood drinker, it will probably survive and regenerate. The newborn vampire will quickly grow and turn into an adult vampire in only a few months. Jesus, in only a few months. So if you want to make a half vampire, you better hope you do. <laughs> the vampire is the female. That's what I got from that. Alright. Fair enough. Just a dead end. Finally unlocked that. Jeez. There's blood, blood everywhere. Okay. You're not doing a good job. You have a skull right behind you. So let's go back. Shall I give it to the mother? Or should I give it to Mortimer? Dun dun dun. What to do? What to do? Should I give it to Mortimer? Let's give it to Mortimer. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. Tell me more about it. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to understand what I feel. Despair is a deadly Despair poison. Despair is a deadly poison I've tasted myself, sir. We're only tempted to drink it because we're terrified by the uncertainty of the next minute. I know that perfectly, Doctor. For I waited for so long, hoping that the next minute would be less unbearable. Well, here's your letter. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. <clears throat> this is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would be good for both of you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. <clears throat> I'll think about it. Now, please, let me be. All right. Ooh, hundred chillins. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. I the words to calm the children down. I'm so tired. As for me, this shift never ends. Good evening, doctor. How is my son doing? Are you? Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place. But he couldn't. 
What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. Why did your son feel so useless when facing the world? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. Do what should I say? Prepare for the worst. You're in denial. He's lucky to have you. Um, this one kind of randomly do it. Random. Your oh. empathy is remarkable, but I fear that your son's decision to end his life has already been made. How dare you talk to a mother like that? Talk to me like that? I'm only trying to be honest, Mrs. Goswick. As painful as this fatal end may be for you. You have to accept this is a possibility. No, I'll never accept it. If my son was to die under your care, well, you have no idea what I'm capable of, Dr. Reed. Ah, failed that one. Fuck. I have read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. Hmm. I just did that. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Okay. Well. Never mind on that. Alright, now what? Find out the cause of death? What is this one? What's the details? I've read the report of Dr. Tippett's concerning the death of, oh, of Samuel Connor. I'm not quite convinced right now. Perhaps I should conduct my own investigation to determine the patient's real cause of death. Oh yeah, that's that letter I found in the abandoned part of the hospital. Alright. Oh. Giant morgue disguised as a hospital. Oh, don't tell me I gotta go back in there. Oh no, I don't. Okay. Well, now what? Go deeper. Mm. Ah. How do I get there? Let's just go around first. Nope, can't go out this way. Let's see, it's telling me I'm right here. Oh, maybe I'm looking for a dead body. Maybe. Or maybe it's just on the other side of this wall. How do I get to the other side of this wall? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Back in here again. Is it one of those things that I have to, like, go in the sewers for? God, I don't want to go back in the sewers. I think I do. It's the only thing I can think of. And there's nothing over here. Yeah, I think I gotta go in the sewers. Damn it! Damn it! Okay. Well, let's see if going in the sewers helps. Okay. Maybe I should talk... So what's their faces? Can't open that. I'm just going around in circles now. Okay. To the sewer! God, what is that scream? See, who's it connected to? Dr. Kirkoran and Gwyneth. Let's talk to them real quick. Maybe get some more info. Here they are. Speak of the devil. Good evening, Dr. Tibbetts. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Ta. Damn. Nothing. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Let's try her. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. No! Dang it. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Well. F that. Oh, that's right, I was going in the sewer. Can't go through that. Damn collision. Okay, hopefully this works. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, oh, I wish there was a map for these sewers. Does this open? That opens. Oh my god. Get out of it! Ah, oh, that's not working. Jeez, no. Okay. Ho oh, ho. Do not like that one bit.
Alright, which way should I go? I guess I should just try to follow the head. Ugh! Ugh. Ugh. Can you guys just not make those noises when you eat people? Oh no! Don't let's load! Fuck you! Ah! Why do they always have to have this gas on them? Oh god. Oh, she's vomiting it up. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that was just, uh, that was new. I was not expecting that at all. Okay. So I've been down here before. Everyone's leveled up though. When I first came down here, you guys were so easy to kill. That is not the case anymore. Okay. I'll see. Ah, uh. oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Died in a sewer, in a sewer, in a sewer. Oh, I'm gonna get mad if it makes me start at the beginning of the sewer. Please don't make me start at the beginning of the sewer. Please. Ah. Oh. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> Well, let's go this way instead. Let's just change the direction. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Oh, never mind. I have to go through here anyways. Get away from her! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna... Maybe they won't see me if I just walk by gently... No, you don't see me. Damn it. They saw me. Ah! Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Do not vomit on me, lady. Oh, great. Back up. Gosh, this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> 
Let's open that box. Was I up here already? Yeah, it just takes me back outside. Let's hope I don't die this time. Let's get myself a shot first. And let's just change this. That. There we go. So I'm prepared. Alright. We can do this. You can do this. Keep. Bashing them in the freaking face! Nope. Aha! Did it that time. I'm sorry, Mouse. I know. Every time. If it makes you feel better, no one's meaning to do it. Now, there's nothing up here. Hopefully it's- nope, there's a couple other fucking skulls. Of course there is. Can't just be them. That's alright, we can do this. I'm just gonna get totally freaking pissed though. Shit. No! You know, I just don't think I'm finding him in the sewers. There's just no way. There's no way I'm finding him in the sewers. just gonna Where's the freaking zoom? No, that's not zoom. There it is. City is more peaceful without the bombs, but no less dangerous. Mm. Well, that was a waste. All right. going around
Ah, these loading times just to go into a building. Bah. Alright, so I'm back in the old morgue where I found the letter. Oh, fuck. This creepy ass fucking morgue ever. So go back. So where I think I found the letter. It's on a table. I think I gotta go down here. Ah, uh, it's not. This will be a cakewalk. There we go. Ah! Oh! As soon as I say it. Some dude had to just show off his freaking ninja skills. Found it. Found it's it. oh. locked, all right. Well, it's locked, all right. Oh, here we go. Well, now what? Ah. There we go. Oof. Okay, let's check the corner Faces of the lips. Of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Ooh. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Yeah. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. And then what happened? Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Oh. This is Dr. Tippett's. Pretty much killed a man. Interrogate Cork on Tippett's. And then interrogate Gwyneth Brennigan. What was this? Oh, the noises. Of course zombies make that noise. Why, why wouldn't they? Gotta sound like these came up straight from the ring. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Probably kill every single one of them with just one, one hit of the bat, but, you know. I don't, it's just creepy. It's a creepy, creepy place.
time to confront the doctor. Wait, am I even going the right way? What's the point of being up here? Oh. There's that door I can't get into. Hmm. Oops. Let's just go this way. Before I do that, let's go ahead and make some medicine. Mm. Yeah, I can make some more of these. Talk to Bren again. Did you aid in killing evening, the man? Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. Oh, you I covered it up. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Ooh. I understand what you did. You took a great risk. You did not have the right. I think you killed somebody else, right? Like... You did not have the right. Dr. Tippett's name must be the decision of Dr. Swansea. You can't take matters into your own hands. I respect Dr. Swansea's authority and management, but he's no idea what happens here on a daily basis. I did what I had to do. At least I didn't lose a hint. Did I even get all her hints? Oh, I did. All right. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Sure, after that lecture, she won't. Alright, where's the doctor? There he is. She killed another patient. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Kokorin, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Mm. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Oh. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. Uh -huh. I have saved so many lives since then. I don't know if I can cover for him. Why would I want to cover for him? Goodbye, Dr. Tippins. Okay, I could cover for him, or cover for him in exchange for his resignation, or trust Gwyneth Br Brannigan and cover Dr. Tippett's error. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let's just say Reed you're going to cover for him, so he resigns. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbetts, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I, I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. All right, that wins. Oh, and I got some money. What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea. Read poetry and wait for death. Goodbye, Dr. Tippetts. So should I get all of his? There he is. No, there's one missing. Hmm. Maybe if I talk... Where is she? God damn it. Friend again? Where'd you go? Where she is. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Mm, I need another hint. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Maybe it's just something I have to wait for later. In the meantime, what other investigation shall I do? Let's see. Still trying to look for my father's testament. Now let's just track that. Let's try one more time to look for this thing. I'll give myself maybe two minutes. <laughs> if I don't find it in two minutes, I'm giving up on it. fact that you have a father that hides notes in weird places. Everything's always got to be locked. I, mean, I need to check upstairs. I didn't check upstairs. Check Swansea's office. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Swansea, since he's here. What news, Jonathan? I've heard you've now joined the vampire elite of London. Did Elizabeth tell you? So it's Elizabeth now. My, my. Things are moving quickly. I turn my back for a moment, and away you go. Don't judge me, doctor. Let's see. I may have found the source of the contagion, Doris Fletcher, the actress. Thankfully, in the end, she was destroyed by fire. Really? Oh, please, do tell me more. Doris was a heavily mutated skull, almost a new breed entirely. It's as if the disease had completely altered her mind and body. Highly contagious. As if the disease had taken control of her will? Yes. Once a beautiful and brilliant woman, she became motivated by hate alone. Oh, she was a beauty. I met her when she visited the hospital to cheer up the sick. Too bad the fire destroyed her. But it was probably for the best. Have you heard of similar cases? No, I don't think so. Except perhaps... 
It reminds me of an old report from the Brotherhood. Well, more an article, really. What was it about? The author, a friar, referred to a rare form of contagion in a skull he observed during the Black Death. The carrier was always female. They called them Icors. Icors. Have you seen Lady Ashbury recently? Yes, she popped in yesterday. Told me about your new friends in the West End. Just a courtesy visit. Yes, and no. She was en route to the docks, I think. Following a lead concerning your maker. How's the situation at the Pembroke? We're still holding out. Question is, for how long? What we really need is hope, Jonathan. Hope for a better tomorrow. I'll come back later. Thank you, Edgar. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Probably wouldn't be able to help me to tell me where my father's note is. Ugh. All right, let's check the second floor. Keep doing that. It's locked, all right. Yes, yes, we know. Oh, come on. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, I found it! Oh my god! Fucking finally found it! Ah! Ah, my dearest child, this is my last letter for you. I chose to hide it in the Pembroke Hospital. Freaking, that's not... You know, that's totally normal. Do you remember how disappointed you were when your application was rejected? I had never seen you so upset. For days, you did not say a word. This was the first time I realized the darkness you had in you, my son. A black stone embedded in your heart. I sometimes saw in your sister, too. I feared for you both, for I perfectly knew what it meant to feel this gloomy mood. The dark side of the reeds. The reason why I must go, now that I know I'm condemned. I'm sick, my son. The diagnosis is irreversible, and death will soon come. I refuse to be seen like this by those I love. This is my fault and my decision. You're so far away now. Learning with this Dr. Carroll in Paris how to transfuse blood to save patients. Already thinking about how to improve the method you've helped to create. I'm so proud of you, my son, but you can't save me. I won't be Aubrey Reed, the dying banker surrounded by his friends and family, unable to leave his bed. I won't stand it. I don't accept it, so I left. Just like you left us to become the great surgeon you are destined to be. God damn it keeps going. The great surgeon I never went to see next to me, looking at me knowing I will die soon. Keep on studying, my son. Become whoever you're destined to be and do it for yourself, not for your old father who loves you. I've taken all the necessary measures to protect you, my family, or any dangers to come. I want you all to remember me as I was, not as I'm about to be. I leave for I love you, my pearls and jewels. I do it because I have this dark mood in me. I hid from everyone for as long as I could. In a few days, I'll go where I stood when you left us for France. There, I'll leave a last gift for you. There, I'll vanish, never to come back. Farewell. Farewell, Jonathan. I wish you to be as happy as I've been with you all these years. Kiss my Mary and my Emma Lynn for me. Take care of them. Farewell, my dear boy. Believe me. Ever, my dearest son, your devoted father. Southern. My departure for France as a promising student. My return as a brilliant surgeon. About to be killed. Transformed. Open your father's safe. Isn't that all the way over here? Damn, I gotta go all, <laughs> all the way back to West End. That's alright. Let's see. It's like over here. Like a marker. Ah, uh, which way would be faster? 
I think this way. No, this way. On the way, on a journey to the past. I think that's how that song goes. I haven't seen Anastasia in forever. Hey! You are trying to like open people's bus into their place. So rude. Like chew with your mouth closed or something. Ah, uh, this does not sound right. I'm going the right way. I am. Was it you making that noise? It was disgusting. So peaceful in this part. Oh, and so you come up over here. Please, sir. I can over there. His father safes all the way over here. I thought it was talking about the one that's in his office. Ah, okay. So I got off track. Ah, it's a gigantic monster again. Sorry, I killed him easily last time. I can do it again. We can do it again. Yeah. See, that wasn't hard. Oh. They don't pay attention to me. Stupid thing, sir! Die, man! Christ! He's dead! Back in the grave! Have I been in here? I think maybe I have. Maybe? Yeah, I've been in here before. If Maybe I can... Come on, teleport! Can I, can I not teleport over here? That's dumb. Is it so? 
Oh, who are you? What the? Oh, I'm fighting. Oh, I'm fighting Echons. God damn it. Oh, nothing's working. Oh. interfere with your hunt. I was just going out for a stroll. Trying to get into my father's safe. Jeez. Oh god. Ah. Ah, gosh. That was horrible. Ah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a sword. Don't I? Yeah, there it is. 140 damage. Oh, it's one-handed. Mmm. I don't know if I want it to replace my my cudgel. Whatever, it's a bat. We'll try it. Oh, uh, it's not gonna. Oh wait, there we go. And we'll just use a gun. That's not bad. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I can get used to that. There we go. Speaking of which, how's the health in this area? Oof, everybody's sick. One's either got fatigue or colds. You again. What do you want? Wouldn't you be a jerk? Have you heard anything about Sean Hampton's shelter? That bastard's become something of a holy man these days. Someone should remind him who really rules the dogs. Are you worried about the conditions in London? I I've heard rumors about some sort of militia patrolling. Killing the sick. The wet boot boys are overrun. Do you need medical help, sir? Yeah, I do. If you can throw in some drugs, I can find use for that too. So you can sell them on the black market? Sorry. I'll only provide you with exactly what you need. Fair enough, Dr. Reed. Don't cost me nothing to ask. Goodbye. Oh, what the hell is that? There's that noise again. Is it coming from over there? Doesn't oh. Maybe I should not have walked into this. Oh, get off me.
Well, I'm not hearing it. I don't think that was them. So I have no clue where the hell that's coming from. I don't hear it now. Alright, let's just go back over here. Let's get back to the safe zone. Oh, dead end. You know, I don't think no one's gonna miss you, lady. Don't forget to keep an eye out for this guy. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Doctor Reed. What do you want? I want your blood, damn it. Let me see. Can I offer you my medical help, Miss Cox? Giving help for free? You'd make a poor businessman, Doctor Reed. Perhaps I would. Please take this. You will feel better. Thank you. But don't expect me to owe you anything. Have you got any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? As long as he keeps on helping the poor, I'll keep my boys at bay, even if he pisses them off. Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? The bodies are piling up, but I'm not afraid. I'm still alive, and I intend to stay that way. Oh yeah, she's a merchant. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Dang it. I don't even know what I need. I can't kill her, damn it. What about this dude? He's got cold. He's got one more hint, too. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Ah, oh, you're a doctor. Is it true Sean Hampton saved your life? Yep. The sad saint grabbed my soggy ass and brought me back to the pier after I fell into the canal. Oh, I was a wreck back then. Let's see. Were you ever thankful and yet you're still drinking? This is a sad story. And yet you're still and yet drinking. you're still drowning in cheap liquor. Sean Hampton really acted like a saint that day. But I suppose I'm just another lost soul who doesn't deserve to be saved. Do you have any recent news of Sean Hampton's shelter? Oh, I still sleep over there from time to time. A sad saint still manages the place, even if he's a little bit more reclusive since he returned. Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? More contagion, more despair, more guns and more dead. More alcohol. Inebriation aside, do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. Take this, then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake, too. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. You drunk? Okay, how much medicine do I have left? Oh, I'm in the wrong area. I'm out of cold medicine. And I have like one fatigue left. He's got a cold. Clients. She's got a cold. Let's go outside. Well, it looks like I gotta make more medicine. Let's go. Oh, here it is. Let's make some medicine. Alright. I'll make one more. One more of um, each. Sounds about right. Alright.
Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Have you got any recent news on Sean Hampton's shelter? It's still there, just like the turquoise turtle. That means there is still hope, somehow. Are you concerned about the sanitary situation? It may surprise you, but I'm not. I've heard about the men at arms and the fights between gangs at night, but that's nothing new. I wish I shared your optimism. It's not optimism. Gangs have been fighting in this part of town since before I was born. This war will stop when enough blood has been spilled. Do you need any help? <coughs> it can't be good for business to see the bartender coughing your Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> not good business. It would be a shame to taint the delicate taste. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Reed. My customers and I, we all thank you. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. I think good drinks I just as likely to cause a problem as to solve one. You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. Hmm. Do you require medical assistance, Miss Cavendish? Don't feel so good if you have to know. I knew that keeping the bar open with the epidemic wasn't a good idea. Take this, it'll help. Perhaps you should think about closing the turquoise turtle for a while. Tom always said we've got to keep the doors open. <clears throat> but thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. All right, let's go. Well, he's got a cold too. You guys all got colds. I'll just let that spread around. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Stills the anger. Oh yeah, this dude was For a serial a killer. Hmm. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help. On several matters, in fact. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with, but it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. Ah, he's on me. Have you heard anything recently about Sean Hampton's shelter? I don't give a rat's ass about Sean Hampton, his shelter, or any of the losers who sleep there. Why aren't you, you worried just about an the asshole. conditions here in London? I've heard armed men have started patrolling the city, even killing the sick to stop the epidemic. Starting to like this city again. Does he have? Ah, oh, he still has a hint. Mm. Okay. Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm her son. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her, but can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. I don't believe death is the appropriate sentence for murder. Not in a civilized society. But the last word has to remain with the law. There is no law around here. No justice to be found. In these parts, revenge is the only answer. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburn. I gotta find out more information about him. What about this dude? He's got fatigue. Evening, Rufus. Evening, That's kid, the kid. And he's got like three hands. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. 
I feel like a real person. Don't feel... A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. I don't know how else I'm going to be able to get more of these hints from people. Right, who else is around here? To every night, to darkness, and every dawn. No, that I saw that open. Oh, I'll have to go up here anyways. Oh, give me. I need blood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing this. I need blood. You have no blood, dude. We need some blood, man. Step away, step away. I think oh, maybe it isn't here. I was thinking that it wasn't, but perhaps it is. Oh, you know what? I cannot enter. Hmm. Ah, that's it. Oh, it was. I got an expensive watch. Yay! I did all that for an expensive watch. It's locked. Well, it never hurts to be able to tell the time. I'm gonna see if I can find out. Now this one's mine! <laughs> Like teleport up there. See, that's where I came from. I'm confused. Oh, eat that mouse. Go eat him. He's right there. I have this thirst for blood. Yeah. Just eat the mouse. I can't believe I'm doing this 
Hmm. It said it's locked from the other side, and then I try to go to the other side. Maybe I need to go this way. Ah, oh, here we go. I don't think I've been in here before. Ah! There we go. Now I have unlocked it. Now let's explore this place, because apparently I have not been in here. I guess I don't think I have. I don't know, maybe I have. Yeah, I've been in here before. I remember, I got to sleep in the blood-covered sheets. That was, that was fun. Alright. Any other investigations? Find Luis Teasdale. I think I actually have to... Yeah, I think I actually have to continue on with the... The main... Story. So that we shall do. What's it acting like? Maybe I should craft some more stuff. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me see if I can upgrade this. Let's see. Enhance damage, enhance handling. Let's do damage. Increase blood absorption. And increase damage again. Oh! There we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's increase the damage again. There we go. Alright. Oop, I can upgrade this one too. Increase shock, add 5 stun points when projectiles reach, increase the rate of fire. Let's do this one. Here we go. Yeah. What else can I upgrade? Upgrade you. Increased firepower, ooh, incendiary, ah, I can never say it, incendiary damage. You can switch to fire damage best to use against beasts and vampires. Chemical damage best used against humans. Let's, ah, I need white phosphorus. I still have not found white phosphorus. Okay. That was the same thing. Like, I couldn't... Let's... Yeah, I need white phosphorus now. Blah. Jonathan's watch. Here's the expensive watch. I don't think I'm gonna get any phosphorus from this. Nope, okay. Let's, let's just not. Alright. Back to the main story. I gotta reach the temple church. Time to go to church.
Maybe I'll be forgiven of my sins. I don't know. Oh, can I? Well, that was the point of that. Oh yeah, I gotta cross the bridge again. I don't think there's a way around that. Has a nice, nice beat there. Give me your blood. I'm sorry. Despicable. I know it's the easiest way to get out of here. All right. Oh, I've been up here before. This girl went up quick principles. She's got no idea what she's thinking. Oh, don't be a bitch. No, oh, I need to go this way. in there before. And yeah, let's kill this guy. See, I'd say the only downside I have with the sword is I don't really get an opportunity to... Okay, stop focusing on him. have an opportunity to like drink their blood. I guess that's where the blood absorption comes in handy. Oh, something's going on. What's going on? Three fifteen. Huh. Now that must be that must be that. I thought that was something that was just happening nearby. Going the right way. <gasps> what are you doing? No! Don't do it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I get some blood with the sword, so... Not much. But just enough, I guess. Alright, where are we at? how he's doing. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Well, I've discovered he's quite versed in occult knowledge. So I wrote him a letter asking him to finance my research about vampires. He never responded. 
You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. No hints to this lady. Hey, hey, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Rats, tasty rats. Those clever rodents are cautious now. They won't approach. Ugh. I mean, I'm eating rats too. What happened to you? The rats. The answer hides in their little crunchy bones. Then juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please <laughs> try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Ah. Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes. Please help. Hmm. Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, doctor. Hmm. Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was... strong. Proud. I campaigned for good causes. But that was before... before... It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. There's quite an issue with her. All right. I need to find information about Aloysius Dawson. What can you tell me about him? Don't trust him. He's looking for the same thing I was. Uh, rats? Uh, no, uh, not rats. Uh, something else. I don't remember. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. So she's still crazy. Let's talk to Clarence's wife. Hello, Venus. Hello, Jonathan. Please come in. What do you need from me, Jonathan? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I never met the man. I know Clarence tried to contact him recently, but I don't know why. That's it. Okay. Goodbye for now. I'm so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. So there's people I'm missing in this area, but maybe I'm just not not doing everything. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night, since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Are you a suffragette, then? 
Oh, you really are Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time. Even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh. Now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. <laughs> and who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning. I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top-notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. Right, isn't that the same investigation I've been on? What do you know about Aloysius Dawson? That man is a tyrant. The embodiment of greed and selfishness. All I despise about this country. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Or maybe not. Oh, uh, yeah. Here it is. Fine. Locate Emily's house. Down here. Good evening, Mr. Kamara. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Can you change? And is it what you really want? If so, it must come from within, not without. I've seen what an altruistic gesture can do. Nothing forced you to save me, Dr. Reed, but you did. I will follow your example in these matters from now on. There is no need to thank me. Rescuing a London citizen should not be out of the ordinary. Though I'm afraid it may appear so in these difficult times. You did not only rescue me, you fought for me. You put your life in danger to save me. That's quite extraordinary. How will you cope if you're attacked again? I don't know. I've heard about these men and women who patrol the West End every night, chasing criminals like my abductor. No, Maybe no, I don't. Join them. Don't, don't, don't. Ah. Uh... I decided to fight against vampires. What can you tell me about your abduction? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane, mumbling about sacrifice and voices. And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never heard of such an astronomical term. That is weird. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. I got all of his stuff. Tell me, Tadao, why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? 
I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Yes. Astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent many a pleasant evening stargazing. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. But children love magic and stories. I remember our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations? Draco, my constellation. Cygnus, my sister's constellation. Or Pegasus, my mother's constellation. Cygnus. The constellation that was supposed to protect Mary. Memory's a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations. Yet I barely remember my own childhood. Did he fake his interest in astronomy to get close to you? No. In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration. So now the stars have do to do with something? Do you know anything about a man called Aloysius Dawson, by any chance? Well, I've never met the man personally, but I invested money in some of his companies when I came to London. A brilliant businessman. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Is this her house? No. See. Oh, it looks like I gotta. Ah! That's over here. So I gotta go to this alleyway. That's Venus's house. That just takes me to the North Docks. Can I get up there? Well, how do I get up there? Maybe I gotta... Maybe I gotta go through her house. I don't know. Let's assume that. Hello, Venus. Hello, Jonathan. Please come in. I'm so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Yes, yes, I know. I had to kill my own sister. Okay. I remember when Mary came here with her husband and her son. Alright. That's locked. Alright, yeah, I can get out of here. There we go. This has got to be it, right? No invitation is needed to enter this building. That can't be a good sign. Oh. No sign of a struggle. It seems Charlotte's friend knew the killer and let him in. Let's see. Emily's love letter. My dear Jackass. Jackies? Jackass? Jackass? Ha. <laughs> I can't wait to see you again. Tonight, tomorrow, I can hardly wait. Since we kissed on that bridge while the moon was so bright in the night sky. I want to feel your teeth again on my lips. Oh, the excruciating pain of your sweet bite on my neck. You devil, you. 
For the longest second ever I feared you were going to kill me right there on the bridge in the middle of the night. But no, my dear Jacques, you remained the delicate fiancé I know you are, and you were only teasing me. I can't wait to drink your blood for good this time and come back to my sweet friend Charlotte as an immortal to play with her a little first of course like you taught me to play with mortals and then I'll turn her into one of us too and we will rule the Knights of London and cleanse the city of its impure souls faithfully always Emily Emily wanted to become a vampire something must have gone wrong someone is responsible for this mess. But who? Uh, let's say so. Clearly her boyfriend. Our fiance. Love. I should follow the trail. Oh, can I? Does not let me open the door? Uh, okay, so it starts on the bed. And we have one over here. Okay, yeah. Now there's a trail. It's Venus. Oh, yeah, it goes down here. Now where? Oh, guess out here. It is. Who are you? Oh, what no. are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I'm the Marquis de Bois Colomb, and I strongly invite you to find your own game, sir. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm here to solve the mystery concerning the death of a young woman killed by a vampire. A young woman killed by a vampire? Oh, <laughs> you're joking, right? Oh, I do love the British sense of humor. And who exactly are you? I am Jacques-Michel Guillaume Florimond, the Marquis de Bois-Colombe, at your service, my dear cousin. You're French, but your English is quite good. I was born in France, sir, but I consider myself a traveler of this world. Mm, so many countries, so many tantalizing tastes. Dear cousin, are we related? We could be of the same blood, my dear. I tend to consider all Econs as family, don't you? No. There's no time I approach when they try to kill me. What are you doing here? I recently decided to visit London. I've always dreamed of visiting a city on the verge of collapse. Such a delicate, yet intense spectacle. You take pleasure from others' misery. I have been a totally depraved and immoral creature since the day I was reborn, sir. And probably before. What do you plan to do here? Take pleasure. Take pictures. Enjoy the show. Have fun. Believe me, I won't be the only foreign immortal who bought a ticket to the fair. I followed the trail of blood from her room to here. Oh, you're referring to that young woman. Yes, the meeting turned messy. I'm afraid I ruined my last wedding good. So you admit you murdered her? I admit nothing, my good sir. I only regret the blood of that girl staining my clothes. Oh, blood can be oh so Oh my god. Messy. What, what a dick. She wanted to become one of us. Not the first time I have received such a proposal, but... Uh, I must admit, her direct approach tempted me. And then what? Her body rejected my blood. It happens, you know. Sometimes oh. even with voluntary prey. At least her gurglings brought me some fun. Until the artery burst. Ah. Uh, let's just believe him. I believe you, sir. Emily's diary confirms your statement. Oh, Emily was her name. Quite charming. Well, mystery solved then. Yes, I suppose so. You can go. 
And so can you. Farewell, sir. May you enjoy the spectacle of this fallen city as much as I do. That must be her. She's not going to like to hear this. Like, hey, sorry, but you know, your friend that you want me to look for? Well, I found the vampire that tried to turn her. Her blood rejected it, and therefore her heart exploded. My sympathies. Yeah, that's pretty good. Women of all countries unite! Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously. And the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? Let's see. Charlotte knows a lot about vampires. It does not seem to fear them. Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me. Or your mother. Good to know. And don't worry. My mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks. Their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Okay. Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? That's a good question. Okay. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Okay, your friend then. was planning to become a vampire. She thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure to become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood? I should never have talked to Emily about vampires. I never thought she'd actually try it without me. Thank you, sir. Here, take this for your discretion. Ooh, I got a steak. A light but solid stake carved from the strongest ironwood. The letters CA are engraved on its base. Ooh, and it's already level 5. I'd have to go to a workbench to upgrade it some more. You know what? I wonder if I fight with the stake. If I can, like, automatically kill vampires makes me wonder I might need to try that all right goodbye Charlotte give my best regards to your mother when you see her she's been quite busy these last few nights I suspect you may see her before me well, I succeeded on that one Yay. All right, what else? All right, this is the only one I have left for now. Let's find Luis Teasdale.
kind of maybe I can get to her without having to be in this part. Stop! Look at him. Oh god. I don't know if she'd be in here. Maybe. Could always... Oh, there's some bloody handprints, I think. She might be in there. Ah, don't spray that crap on me. You're gonna ruin my coat. Alright, so, yeah, there's some blood prints over here. I wonder if that's supposed to be Teasdale's. It might be. We go up the stairs. Oh, looks like it goes out here. Clearly a couple skulls down here. Ah! Why? Watch that be her. Ow! Fuck you! Maybe not. And just follow this blood trail for this? Uh. Okay. Oh. Huge freaking blood on the curtains. Oh, maybe. I oh, know that's one of the skulls. Never mind. I don't... Unless I go this way, maybe? <laughs> There's no way to enter any, any of this stuff, though. So yeah, I think I have to go through this temple entrance. I gotta get on with the main story. It's locked, all right. Well, I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. Okay. I was about to be like... I gotta find a passage somewhere around here. Okay. Find a passage.
I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. Oh, found the passage. All right. Let's go there then. Oh, there's that vampire dude. Okay. Let's just. All right. This is now my Well, that wasn't even him. You cannot lose this. I think I did just win this. How about that? This must be the passage. Quarantine, contagious disease. sewers all right so I gotta follow the passage I've been down here once before I think oh yeah okay I forget what I was trying to look for last time I was trying to look for something I ended up coming down here on accident And I had a fight. He's not there right now. He's gonna appear. I bet you he will. I'll have to fight him. I have to get ready. Ah! I don't think there's any way. Yeah, that's not gonna. It's happen. locked. Yeah, I have no choice. All right, here we go. Die. Yeah, there he is. I don't even know who he is. Who are you? Why are you here? Your blood is now mine. Ah. Oh, come on, you're almost there. Ew. The violence of Volk Gods. Never let the size of a Volk God fool you. These massive bastards can be qu as quick as any leech, and it can be put down the same way by puncturing and pinning the rotten carcass to the ground before beheading them. Remember, it's all about preparation and exploiting your target's weaknesses. The problem, of course, is that Volcodes have no weaknesses. They are strong, fast, sensible, and deadly. They are killing machines with one simple goal. To put their huge claws around your neck. 
So if any of you lads are unlucky enough to ever face a vocal, just remember this dodge and this dodge and make it mad. Hunt it or no, hurt it, taunt it, and make it lose its temper. Volkold's brain lose it when irritated enough. They stop thinking and start blindly attack. This is your only chance to win. By gaining tactical advantage against a stupid beast, use it. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Edrich Prywin, Prywin, Prywin Leader. I still can't say their organization name right. Prywin? Oh, he's still alive. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess that's that. Alright. Definitely got some good XP from that, though. Means I can evolve! Is there anything else down here? A bracelet? Found some shillings. Okay. Where does this lead? This leads to nowhere, right? here. Alright, that takes me back over to that area. This other one's locked. It's locked. What does this do? Oh, does that unlock it now? No. It's locked, all right. Maybe I need to like raise it up. First, let's go back over here. I don't want to miss anything. Where does this go? Oh, it takes you over here. Alright, so I unlocked that door. Okay, so let's mess with these. Let's see, what do you do? Oh, it says the door's been unlocked. Oh, what? Oh, they just came up from the woodwork, man! Ah! Oh. oh, there's so many of them! No! Ah! Oh. Well, that was annoying.
All right, where did it spawn me at? Okay. So do I need to do this again? I do. Dang. I wonder, what does this do? I cannot enter. See, there's a way down there, though. But okay. Oh no, go back. Let me redo that. Alright. Oh wait! Can I get up here? I didn't see those. Maybe not. It's not appearing. Okay. Alright, I gotta be ready for this. These guys spawn out like... I already opened that. And then when I try to open this... That's when they start to come out! Alright. Don't let them get you! Ah! Alright. Back away! Back away! Ah! That's been unlocked. I don't see how this was supposed to... Oh! These stairs go down. That was the point of that. So we gotta strain the water now. Found a ring. Finding lots of joy. Got some bullets. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, I used. Okay, I think that's the... What's her face? Let's go up. Oh, what's this? A common axe? Doesn't go anywhere. Oh, this is just... Okay, this isn't even connected to those stairs. Okay. So let's go back down and walk up the stairs. I 
Let's see, this has got to be taking you outside. No, it's saying she's down below. That must be where she's at. Yeah. Recent diary. I just arrived in London after a grueling journey from Manchester. The city is sad and despaired, and it will be not be difficult to find a woman willing to escape death here. I cannot wait to start my research soon. I won't be a virgin anymore. The cell is ready. All I must do now is to find the appropriate candidate and bring her in. She will be beautiful and gentle with a nice temper. I have already tested my persuasion ability on a few women and it worked most of the time. But I don't want my future bride to be submissive. I will only use my power to bring her here. Then I'll tell her what I intend to do and I'll let her accept. This is important. I want my lady to willingly accept to become my wife for eternity. Jesus. I think I've found the perfect match. Her name is Louise. She is a waitress in a public house and she is quite charming. I love her attitude when serving drink in that bar. Tough and proud, I'm sure she will accept my offer. Once she is mine, once the vampire blood will have achieved the metamorphosis, her face shall heal properly and her scars will disappear. Then she will be the perfect beauty I'm the only one to see right now. I don't understand. Luis r refuses my proposition. Why would she? I promised her I would never force her to do anything. I may let her starve a little, then she'll understand her only option. Jeez. That takes date rape to a whole new level now, don't it? Alright. Ah. That just looks... You can see the insides and everything. Ugh. Gross. Maybe I should let her in there. No, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I gotta succeed on this. Are you alright, miss? Who are you? What do you want from me? My name is Jonathan Reed. I'm a doctor. What happened to you? Why are you here? I'm Louise Teasdale. I was kidnapped a few weeks ago by a Vampire. Don't laugh, please, sir. It's no joke. I believe you, Miss Teasdale. That monster told me my father was dead. That no one was waiting for me outside. You're safe now. You don't have to worry about the vampire. You should just return home. Thank you, sir. I hope we'll meet again soon. Because I'd really like you to teach me how to get rid of these creatures. Oh, I don't know about that. She's got a headache, though. Maybe I can give her some medicine. Ah, oh, it won't let me. Well. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Alright. Finish that investigation. Now to move on. Get it! Moving on. First for blood. To the main quest. Now I'm wondering, should I give Dawson vampire abilities? Or should I just kill him, I guess? I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know if it's going to give me that option. It might. I think it might, actually. I think it will. Ask West End inhabitants about Aloysius Dawson. Pretty much did. And now we're at the Temple Church. Where I'm sure I'm gonna find more citizens. Let me go ahead and unlock this. came down from here, right? Yeah. Getting a little... Price's shop. Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. Okay. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. I hope you can stay a little longer this time. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicut used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. Yeah. I wonder who this camellia may be. Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh, yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. Oh, that's sad. Oh, yeah, I already just went to personal questions. All right. Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. Not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. Yeah. Pretty mean. All right. Got nothing Goodbye, else. Goodbye, Carol. 
Good morning. Uh, good evening, sir. Penny, you need to go outside. Do you need to go outside? All right. I'm gonna put a pause on this. My dog has to go outside. I hope you can stay a little longer this time. Let's see. Yeah, let's do the map. Anyways, be right back.
back. Just take everything out of your sewer without paying for it. Okay. Hold on. It's locked, all right. Oh. It's locked, all right. Ah. Uh. Oh, here we go. Be careful, Carol. You're wasting good food here. Y yes, Mother. I said be careful, child. Oh. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mummy has been so clumsy again. No, th that's okay. It, it won't bleed for long. You're so pale. Are you feeling sick? Do you need to see a doctor? No, 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 I'm not, I'm fine. I, I already saw the doctor last week. Wow. Oh, silly, you must see a doctor. Just don't tell him how clumsy your mummy is, all right? I love you so much, my baby. I love you too, mother. Ah, so the girl's not clumsy. The mom's just a little bit of a bitch. That's what that is. I like how they had to put it in quotations. Huh. Let's see. Of course I can't. Oh. There she is. Ah, ah. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Oh. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Do you have any white phosphorus? No, I do need to buy this though. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Oh. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. Carolyn? Let's see. What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war and the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Oh, well, she's flirting. Maybe a little bit wiser, more serious. It suits you well. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. Carolyn admits that she has... Dang it. Now my phone's ringing. Watch it be a spam caller. One second. <laughs> Never fails. Uh. Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up. Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. 
Carol's gratitude is exemplary. She seems determined never to leave you. I'm taking care of my daughter as well as I can. It's not always easy, but she's the best gift life gave me. But she'll probably leave you someday to live her own life. Will that be difficult for you? Why would she leave? Children sometimes stay with their parents until the end, for they know no one else will love them as much. Oh, wow. Now that's not twisted or anything. Tell me, Carolyn, do you often wound or hurt your daughter by mistake? No. I always thought it was Carol's clumsiness that caused these incidents. Maybe it's a family trait, Doctor. You really believe it's just bad luck and being clumsy, then? Of course, Doctor. What else could it be? I have nothing to hide. Hmm. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. I mean you? You put her in real danger? Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. You are responsible for your daughter's many injuries and scars, Carolyn. You brutalize her, don't you? How could I abuse my own flesh and blood? Wow. This is nonsense. It would be like hurting myself. You really believe you've done nothing wrong, don't you? How long has this been going on for? I should have seen it when you were my patients. Seen what? Child abuse? Are you mad, Dr. Reed? I dedicated my whole life to my precious Carol. She is a part of me. Yes. Even her name is just a part of yours. This is a terrible tragedy. Something of an unknown disorder. My God. Abuse that comes from overwhelming love. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How well, I unlocked all those. Carolyn may be suffering from some unknown mental disorder. Yeah. How dare you say something like that? What kind of a monster do you think I am? One who apparently doesn't know you are one. Speak to me, Carolyn. Why do you behave like this? How does it make you feel to hurt Carol before cajoling her? I... I don't know. It makes me feel good to take care of my daughter. I need to feel useful. No one ever takes care of me. I need someone to take care of me. Do you realize Carol is a person? Not a toy. Not a doll. The poor girl would put her hand in a flame to please you. You are both trapped in this toxic relationship. Carol and I are perfectly happy. Leave us be. How stupid I was to believe you could be a suitable husband. Nah. Wow. You're a victim to your threat to Carol, or you will kill your daughter. I'd say you're a victim too. I'm not judging you, Carolyn. I believe you're a victim too. I'm just trying to explain that you need medical help. You will not separate me from my flesh and blood, Dr. Reed. We'd rather die. Hmm. Well then. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Ah. Oh, I'm halfway now done trying to figure out what the 
that, his twin brother died in a plane crash. Goodbye for now, Miss Price. These guys are out. What about this? Where does this go? Oh, I'm gonna sneak up on you if I can. soon. Oh, is this unlocked? No, let's unlock that. I don't think I've unlocked it yet. There we go. Oh, if you're gonna call me an idiot, we got some words now. This is probably his mansion. If this is his mansion though, I don't want to go in it. I still got people to question. I think it might be... Or maybe that's his mansion. I just gonna assume that's his mansion right now, whether it is or not. For now. Oh, found a safety spot. Our new hideout. Ugh, that's what it's called. means I can evolve. Let's see, I don't want to make anything. Let's see if we can make stuff for a headache. Alright. Um. I need some blood samples. Oh, maybe some more opium, too. Oh, what's this? Thick, brisk blood sample. Oh, well, that's what that does. 
I definitely need some more stuff. Let's see, what can I get from some of this stuff? Anything, maybe? Hmm. I already have enough of this stuff, though. Maybe I could use some more glass vials, I guess. Oh, yeah, I can use some more coating. There's one of these things. Oh yeah, it was a steak, I think. Let's do increase stun. Increase stun. Get the handling and enhanced handling. What else? Oh yeah, where's that at? enough aluminium powder. Just almost there. Man, that has a lot of damage though. It is two hands though. Might just end up switching over to that. Just to see how that axe does. Let's do that. There it is. Alright. Oh, shillings. Give me. Alright, I think I'm ready to evolve. Get this nice comfy bed. Alright, let's evolve. Oh, I can hear those mice. <laughs> let's see, should it be my shadow mist? Blood cauldron. I can't even... Oh, I need level 26. Oh, here's one. Shadow Miss. So when I do this one... All targets within this area are stuck constantly by slithers of darkness, causing them to bleed. That's all I got. So. <laughs> that was probably the fastest. Oh, everyone got sick. Again. Let me see. Elise Teasdale. His mom. The price is... What about everyone else? She seems like she's doing worse. She's 
got anemia now. Alright. this way. Let's see where this leads. Oh, to more people terrorizing others. Oh! I know where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I'm allowed to go in the church. What has happened to the London that I knew? I doubt it. Oh, here's some guys. Are they twins? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Hmm. He's healthy. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city. As soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Yeah. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? Uh... I know we are not living in the most peaceful of times. But I have learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. Wanted something this city can't provide. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Tell me more about why you want to leave London, then. I just... don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Okie dokie. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer, and here we are. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Alright, so much for that. Oh yeah, he's healthy. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Let's talk to your brother now. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on 
anything. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. Okay. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? What kind of question is that? What am I supposed to answer exactly? The truth. And I believe you just did it, actually. Okay. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important yeah. thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? That's weird. Yeah, they have opposing explanations about their current situation. They're waiting for something or someone before leaving the city. Okay. Who are you waiting for exactly? The more I th think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever f felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Hmm. All right, I went through everything. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. He's got fatigue. Do you need my medical attention, sir? Indeed. I've never been good at explaining my feelings, but I can tell when my body is hurting me. You have nothing to be worried about. You should recover by taking this. Sounds so easy to fight disease. Too bad it's not the same making people smile again. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. All right. Oh, what the? What was that? That's a pressure plate. Okay. What is that for? Hmm. Well, this one does it too. Don't know what it is for yet. The red river, the song in the dark, the whispers of a sun. So many Crime of lost knowledge. Vampires are dangerous, deadly, vicious sometimes. This is a fact and I won't deny it, and that's precisely why we must understand what they are, sometimes who they are, in order to achieve a better mutual understanding. I don't know. I don't feel like watching <laughs> I don't feel like reading all this. 
Uh, I'm not reading all that. Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? You mean you're playing you cards? Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they tell me everything. They told me that you struggle hard not to take too many lives. Interesting. He's sick too. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Oh. Lesher seems to know that many Londoners have been recently murdered. I murdered one Londoner so far. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Read my fortune. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. What? Fine. Here is the money. The snake, a bitter woman, smiling as she pours poison in your cup. A shaming betrayal. Hate. Oh, Venus. Oh, Venus is deliberately poisoning her, her husband. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Can you read the cards for me? Put the money on the table then, Jonathan, and open your mind. Oh, does he just give me hints Here if I just... Here is the money. The glutton. A man who just eats life as a cake. A righteous ego, surprised to fall in love. Calhoun Russell. Oh, Calhoun was the lover of the famous actress Doris Fletcher for a time. Ooh. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook. They quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Can you read the cards? Ah. Put the money on the table then, Jonathan. I'm spending way too much money mind. for this. But fine. Here is the money. The alchemist wise and cunning mind who lives by lying to all but himself. He sells false promises and is proud of it. Oh. All 
Alright. Anything else? How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. I would rather not know. How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. She could have survived as a vampire. If only she had given me a chance to explain. If only I could have found the words. Not all vampires accept their new condition. Since suicide is impossible, you have to find a way to get someone else to relieve the pain. I could have saved her. No, Jonathan. Hmm. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Oh, so now. Hmm. Do you require medical attention? If you don't mind. You'll feel better after taking this. Thank you very much. I feel better already. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Oh, and the Empress, again. What are the cards trying to tell us? Anything else? I do wonder about these plates. What are they supposed to do? There's got to be a certain order to it. you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I work for the Ascalon Club. I really have no time for this, or I'm here on my own. Let's try that one. I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous, and you'd better be careful. Mm. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when there's a killer on the loose. 
what killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. Okay. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Hmm. It's talking about vampires. Are you investigating, exactly. Well. My two missing persons cases have been solved. By you, it seems. Are you just that lucky? Or do you know something I don't? I was lucky enough to find them both while conducting my investigation in this part of town. Why do I still have the feeling that you're hiding something? What about the abductor? Was it the same person? I don't think so. You had better interview Miss Teasdale and Mr. Kimura on that. All I did was to lead them safely home. Yeah. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. All right. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. The Spanish flu is not the only... Oh, it's gonna heal him. Oops. Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal survey? Do you need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Seems violence and madness are now contagious. All right. I. Hmm. All right. See, so yeah, that's his. That's his mansion right there. So let's go to that mansion that I thought was his, but it's not. I'm going the wrong way again. Yep. Damn it. I could probably go through here. Alright. Makes it easy. Ooh, I like the axe. Does take a lot of stamina, though. What? Oh. Whose mansion is this? Have I even discovered everybody in this area? I have. Just about. Alright.
Oh, this is his mansion. What the hell? Why is it saying his mansion's over here? Like, does he got two of them? Is he that rich? Your son's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? No. I'm not. All right, well, here I was thinking this wasn't his mansion, but it is. We'll loot everything you have. Jazz fountain in the middle. What to do, what to do? Oh. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight, I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Oh. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hand. I already don't like this fool. What do you know about the Guard of Prewin? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. So I don't want to do Let's this. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Hmm. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? 
You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. Please. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. I could embrace, I will kill you. Turn your sacrifice 2000 XP in the process. I'll make you a vampire. Or embrace, I will kill you. Charm, forget your fear of dying. Let's try that one. Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear I will die a man of dignity. And a man at peace. Port to Lord the Red Grave. Oh, he's not gonna like this. Now the pillars. Oh, was he the pillar? I don't remember now. Yeah, he was the pillar. Maybe I should have just embraced him. Am. Can I open this? It's no! Locked. Where's your keys? <laughs> it's locked, all right. Locked, all right. Okay. Execution of John Francis Sparrow has been hung this morning in the prison of Pentonville. Mr. Sparrow was sentenced to death after being found guilty of the murder of his sister, Alexandra Sparrow. Until the end, the man claimed he was innocent. Nor formal proof of his presence at the crime scene was ever brought to the court, but he has been sentenced to death and executed anyway. Scotland Yard refused to reopen the case despite the many holes in the chains of events, which ended with the death of Miss Sparrow. 
Charles Albright, who conducted the inquiry for Scotland Yard, refused to answer any of our questions, but three weeks ago he was demoted without any official explanation. What a strange way to reward an efficient inquiry. Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. Yeah. Some bad investigation work. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! And by the sword you die. Protect the Pembroke Hospital. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. What a jerk! The he wasn't gonna be happy to for me to say no. <laughs> Saw that coming. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give this a break and come back to this on Wednesday, hopefully around noon. Uh, thanks for watching, and you have a good day. Bye-bye!